Compared to the first exhibition in Toronto, this exhibit is completely new. It shows our latest developments from our laboratories. None of the specimens here on display have been shown before. And uh, in addition to explaining and showing the entire human body with all the various bodily function, it is particularly emphasizing on the heart, on the cardiovascular system. Plastination is a vacuum process. It's in detail quite complicated, but in general, it is replacing the tissue water against the polymer in vacuum. So each individual cell that in contained water before is now completely filled up with a silicone polymer, and that is the reason why the specimens are so durable. They are dry, they are odorless, and can literally be grasped. The exhibition is, uh, is amazing. It's amazing to see what our bodies uh, are, is made of. And it's impressive to see that we all have all these details, intricate details in our bodies. It makes us think how we are using our bodies and how we take care of it and how the whole body is in service of us. All this intricate system is in service of uh, a good purpose. All the specimens here on display are real, uh, real human bodies. And the bodies are actually originating from a very unique body donation program where people sign in and voluntarily decide to be part of it. My husband Gunther von Hagen, he is the inventor of plastination and ever since he is constantly developing plastination further. And he is also the one who designs the exhibits, the, the specimens. He decides on the poses, he decides what kind of anatomical structures will be shown. And uh, my position is to create and design the concept. I decide what kind of specimens go on display, what description come along with them, in what order the specimens are displayed. So we have a clear distinction in our obligations. Well, we are human anatomists and uh, our main focus is of course human anatomy. But over the past years we were lucky to receive animals that we could plastinate, that we could preserve. So this is a reason why here in Toronto we are able to show you a sliced giraffe of full size, six meter tall. And uh, in our laboratories currently we are working on a bear and we are working on an elephant. Well, we are constantly developing the plastination process further um, to uh, be able to add unique specimens to our existing uh, exhibitions. Um, it involves polymer research, it involves uh, scientific research in anatomical dissection and our longer term goal is to have one day a permanent museum on the human body. Well, we have a huge facility in Germany where we have huge uh, laboratories and this also contains a public part. So people can see in reality how the plastination process works and it also contains a showroom where we have installed a kind of body worlds exhibit but it's considerably smaller compared to here. Well, I find interesting that you can find out what you have inside of you, not thinking of it as something disgusting, but something very important. And you can learn how to take care of yourself. And well, I really enjoy this exhibition because you get, you have fun seeing um, the people and different things you have in your body. I think the exhibition is so popular and important to people because 
people learn about themselves is of absolute relevance to their lives. People understand much better about bodily function, about what it means to be human. And that is, this is a self-reflection without mirror. Well, I think this exhibition is great. It, uh, it's a mix of art and science and it allows people to actually see uh, the human body in various modes of use and disuse, you know, the smoker's lungs, incredibly powerful. So many people walk by and just, that's it, I'm not smoking anymore. And uh, just actually seeing the human body as what it is, I, I love it. It's brilliant. I love the feeling you get when you actually, you know, you can see the different fetuses and different stage of development. It's beautiful. I think this exhibition is a very uh, good idea um, because then you get to come and you see what's going on in your body and uh, how what you do to your body affects your body. It's a very a good way of seeing um, the different things um, that are going on in life that we don't usually think about. I would definitely recommend this to my friends and families. Uh, because it has all different kinds of uh, exhibits like uh, the fetuses and um, the brain and you know people have diseases and, and different things going on in their body it's a good way to see what's going on inside your body okay well I think it's a fascinating exhibition uh, it's taught me a lot about things I really only had the vaguest idea about and uh, I admire the people put it together and also the people uh, who donated their bodies to make it possible. Okay, well this is our first time visiting here and we're really enjoying it and we both come from anatomy backgrounds so it's really interesting to kind of see everything put together. Um, yeah, we had a great time and we'd recommend anyone coming. It's a great learning experience and it's fun. So thank you. <laughs>